Let's make viral banana bark. It's filled with banana, peanut butter, chocolatey goodness. It's the perfect dessert to keep stashed in your freezer. And it's super fun to make and a great activity to do with kids. We're just gonna start off with these three bananas. If we need the fourth one, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I'm just gonna slice them into coins. Okay, so we have our sliced bananas, and now I'm taking a larger cutting board. You could also use a baking tray. You're just gonna wanna make sure that it will fit inside of your freezer. And on top of the cutting board, I'm putting a piece of parchment paper so that nothing sticks. Now we're gonna take our sliced bananas and just line them up. So you can make this banana bark as big or as small as you want. It'll just depend on the amount of banana slices you put down. So we're just lining them all up. I'm thinking we are going to need that fourth banana, but we'll see. It's kind of fun to line them all up, actually. It would be a good activity to do with kids. Okay, so we have our bananas all lined up. I actually only ended up using the three bananas, but like I said, you can use more if you want it to be bigger, or you could even use two or three if you wanted it smaller. So now I'm gonna take another piece of parchment paper and place it over top of the bananas. And now I'm gonna take a glass and I'm just going to gently press down on the bananas, kind of smashing them a little bit. Again, this is kind of fun and would be a really fun activity, I think, for kids. And it's also making them a little bit of a healthier treat at the same time. So this is definitely a family-friendly one. So I'm just gently pressing down on these bananas. Not too much, but just a little bit so that they flatten together a little bit. You can also use your hands. You just want it to kind of be somewhat evenly flat across all of the bananas. Okay, now I'm gonna lift up this piece of parchment paper carefully. And you can see we have our smashed bananas. Now you're gonna take any kind of nut or seed butter. Today I'm using a crunchy peanut butter. You could also use almond butter. If you wanted to keep it nut free, you could use a sunflower seed butter. Um, basically whatever you want to use. I just thought the crunchy peanut butter would add a nice little crunch to the recipe. So a tip when you are looking for nut or seed butters, you wanna look at the ingredients and make sure the only ingredients are either peanuts and salt or just peanuts. You don't want any other added oils or added sugars. And the same thing goes for other nut or seed butters like almond butter. For example, you would want the ingredients to be only almonds or almonds and sea salt. We just got that beautiful shot of the up close peanut butter. Now we're just gonna spread the peanut butter over the banana layer. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit on here and then just start spreading it on top of the bananas. Now I have some melted chocolate chips. So I just put some chocolate chips into a bowl with a little bit of coconut oil and then put it in the microwave and microwaved it for 15 second intervals, stirring between each. You wanna be really careful with chocolate because you don't want it to burn. So we have our melted chocolate and now I'm just gonna take this and pour it over top. The smell of chocolate and peanut butter is so good. Okay, we wanna make sure we get all that chocolate. Now we're just gonna gently spread the chocolate over top. All right, so I spread all of the chocolate. This looks so good. I'm so excited. The crunchy peanut butter with the banana and the chocolate is gonna be so good. So I'm gonna stick this in the freezer for a few hours until it hardens and then we will have our banana bark. I almost forgot one thing we're gonna do before putting it into the freezer is sprinkle a little bit of sea salt. This part's optional, but I just love a sweet and salty combo, especially with that chocolate and peanut butter. I think this is gonna be the perfect touch. All right, our banana bark just came out of the freezer and now we're gonna break it apart. This is always the fun part. Look at how delicious that looks. Chocolate, peanut butter, and banana. One of the best combos. Now you have the perfect, healthier, sweet snack 
to keep stored in your freezer. And it's just in the perfect little bites. You can break off larger pieces if you want more or have some smaller pieces if you just want a little sweet something.